Hey guys, CP Morty here, back with another video. So you've just built yourself a brand new PC and you're sort of sitting there looking at it, going, what exactly do I do with it? Now, the excitement of playing with all that hardware is worn off and it's sort of just now a box and some monitors and some bits and pieces around your room. So today we're going to take a look at five things you can do with your brand new PC. Kicking things off, the first and most important thing you should do with your brand new PC is download and install all the drivers and all the software you need to actually run your system. A lot of people do forget to go ahead and actually install drivers, rendering parts of their computer kind of useless. For example, SSD and storage technology can greatly take advantage of newer and better drivers than what what Windows ships with. Also too, some motherboards don't have native support out of the box with Windows 10 for some of their options such as wireless drivers or even LAN drivers. So going ahead and installing all the drivers and software you need first up is most important. This stuff can also too include things like doing a 9 i install which you can find a video should be linked up there, I think I did one at some point, if not there will definitely be one coming up basically allowing you to install multiple applications at the same time. So rather than going to each individual website, jump on 99 and you can go ahead and get a whole ton of programs really, really simply through one simple installer. This will basically set your computer up for an easy, just ready to go experience. You can do whatever you want and continue on with your day with it. So jumping on your installers is the first thing you should really do. Coming in at number two is get some games on your system. Even if it's a sort of a system designed for doing office tasks, maybe typing some Word documents or some sort of production, having a game or a few of them on your system is absolutely necessary because I guarantee at some point you'll be sitting there wishing you had a game. Maybe the internet has gone out or something's happened, maybe you're sitting on a phone call for like an hour waiting for someone to call you and uh, things are just going really badly. Going ahead and having some games on your system is absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, Windows 10 ships with just about no games other than the Candy Crush nonsense thing that comes pre-built in there. So going ahead and installing your basic games like Solitaire and also two things like Minesweeper are awesome options there. If you're a bit more of a gamer and have a Steam account, putting some of your basic games on the system is also too an awesome idea. Once your games and software has already gone ahead and set up, get ready to do some backups. A lot of people do forget to do this when they set up a brand new computer, but it's always a good idea to create a system image of your freshly installed computer. Whether you want to just roll back to the day you first built your computer or go ahead and up a virus you may have gotten, creating a restore point or some sort of disk image of your current system right now is an awesome point. It'll be quick to do because there shouldn't be too much on your computer and also too it is a nice sort of starting point if you are having system issues, whether drivers aren't working or something just isn't working down the line, having a point to roll back to is something really, really handy to have. This also too can include just a general type of backup using Windows 7 Backup and Restore, which is an awesome function to use so you don't lose any data because let's Let's face it, if a hard drive does die in a year or so time, the last thing you want is to be left without any sort of backup solutions. Coming in at number four is stress test your system. You've built your system, you've got some games on there, you've got some software on them. Let's see how this computer goes. Go ahead and run things like Prime95, Furmarked, MSI Afterburner and see what exactly your computer is capable of doing. If you have an overclockable system and you do want to do some overclocking, definitely go ahead and do it because that is the best way to see what your system can actually do. Myself, and it is a very recommended thing to do, is go ahead and do a 24 hour stress test of the system with Prime95 and MSI Combuster running, which is a really good simulation of full stress CPU and full stress GPU. Not only will it obviously test those two components, but also to see how your thermal management has gone. If you're starting to get overheating or hot pockets in your system, going ahead and doing a 24 hour stress test is the best way to quickly find these issues so you're not in the middle of a gaming session and have your computer blue screen because it overheated. So stress testing is a really awesome thing. And coming in at number five, it's not really something you can necessarily go ahead and actually install or download, but it's just admire your system. Look at the awesome computer you've just put together and be happy with what you've got. I do know of a lot of people who go ahead and build their first computer or just build themselves a new computer and instantly jump on the internet to see how the computer stacks up and then get pretty miserable because they didn't buy the highest end out there or there's a different configuration they could have run with and then they basically just get really upset and want to build another computer. Play some games, go ahead and use your system and just be happy with what you built as again, a lot of people do get upset with the system that they've gone ahead and built. Unless there's some glaring obvious issue like the video card was DOA or the CPU doesn't fit in the motherboard, your system is a fairly decent one at that if you've just recently built it. 
And tip number six, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because why not? You can go ahead and find out some more information about computers, computer parts, and all those good things like that. But with that being said, that is my five list or top five list thingos to go ahead and do with your brand new computer. Obviously, there's a whole lot more you could do with your new PC, so you guys let me know down in the comments section. Let's put together a massive list of things you could do with your brand new computer. So let me know what you would do with your new computer down in this comment section. In the description box, rather, you'll find the Nine Night program I talked about and all the other links you may want to find out once you've built your new computer. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.